Hello gardening friends, welcome to the Weekend Gardener. Well, as you can see in my garden right now, everything is covered up. I can't get to the fruit trees, I can't get to the vegetables, although I harvested as many as I could. We've got them all covered for the deep freezes that come at this time of the year. So, we're spending a little bit more time indoors, and that's all right, too. There's a lot to do indoors related to gardening. There's many books on the market that would be fun for you to read. One of the things that would be good to learn would be about the toxic plants in our gardens. Um, Amy Stewart wrote this book, Wicked Plants, uh, The Weed That Killed Lincoln's Mother and uh, Other Botanical Atrocities. This is a really good book. It's humorous, but very important. Did you know that the sago palm is a carcinogen? The seeds and the leaves are very toxic. People from Florida all the way to California know this because many pets have eaten some of these plants and gotten very sick and died. You know, so you want to know this kind of information for your children's sake, uh, for um, your pet's sake. And there's a, a lot of this information in here about poppies and um, other plants. So I would suggest that you pick up, uh, and if you don't find uh, wicked plants, here's another one, the North American Guide to Common Poisonous Plants and some of the mushrooms that are out there. So this is real important information, especially if you have children or a lot of pets. You know, a lot of folks are gardening very intensively, growing vegetables these days. They want a higher quality, chemical-free vegetable. Or some folks are looking to live more sustainably. Well, there are very good books on that topic. Uh, one of the best ones, they've been around for many years, is John Jevons' How to Grow More Vegetables Than You Ever Thought Possible on Less Land That You Can Imagine. This is a great book. And, you know, you can't just live on tomatoes and peppers and a few carrots. You have to have a balanced diet. And John T teaches you that, how to make your own compost, how to grow compost. This is a very good book. Another um, little video that's local is this one, Food Production Systems for Backyard or Small Farms. I've seen this one. Um, I own one of these, and I think it's very good. If you've got a place um, with um, maybe half an acre or more, this will teach you how to live sustainably, from water collection systems to raising rabbits and poultry, how to make compost. Uh, it's a very good little video. Food production systems for a backyard or small farm. There are many things like this that are very popular these days, too. Uh, rainwater collecting. This is another very important topic these days. It's part of that sustainable living, and it's the best quality water you can find anywhere. So this one is local. Rainwater collection for the mechanically challenged. And there's a couple of others out there like uh, Brad Lancaster's rainwater harvesting books too. There's a lot to read this winter. So don't be dismayed because you can't get out to your garden. We can learn quite a bit about gardening, living more sustainably, and uh, taking care of our earth and our families. For the Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time.